Mm, hi people, me again of course as always Andrew Shushul, Moino Ravenberg. I'll be covering another Goetic spirit, this time it's a spirit that goes by the name Crochelle. I prefer pronouncing it that way. It's spelled C-R-O-C-E-L-L. -L. You can also pronounce it uh, Crokel or Crokel. It's all up to you. In any case, I'm going to stick with the former Crochelle. Now, the 49th spirit is Crochelle or Crokel. He appeared in the form of an angel. He is a duke great and strong, speaking something mystically of hidden things. He teaches the art of geometry and the liberal sciences. He, at the command of the exorcist, will produce great noises like the rushing of many waters, although there will be, there be none. He warmeth waters and discovereth baths. He was of the order of potestates or powers before his fall, as he declared unto King Solomon. He governed 48 legions of spirits, etc. And this is his seal. As you can see, the, the seal alongside his description in uh, the Goetia uh, in the thumbnail of this video. So yeah, let's dive right in. Crochelle, um, the everything mentioned in um, the description of the Goetia is indeed correct. He does appear in the form of an angel, beautiful angel with the colors of, um, of not dark blue, but uh, semi-dark blue. Um, yeah, semi-dark blue, orange, and uh, blue, just sky blue and whatnot, and with a bit, a bit of miscellaneous green surrounding him and whatnot. I mean, not surrounding him, but in addition to the aforementioned colors. Um, and the part where it says that uh, about the rushing waters, that he produces great noises like the rushing of waters, despite the fact that there is none, that's also correct. Like when someone in Crochelle, you'll notice, for example, I mean, if you are keen to it, if you, unless you deliberately tell him that, hey, I don't want to hear that, then you'll hear like you're near a waterfall. Think like Grand Rapids, think uh, Niagara Falls. Like really, you're hearing water that can go like 40, 50 miles an hour, crudely put or, or metaphorically speaking at least. It's like a waterfall is right next to you, okay? Or any body of water that um, moves at a rapid pace. Uh, let me see what else. He teaches the art of geometry and the liberal sciences. Uh, correct. He essentially teaches anything relating to math, anything that uh, anything that relates to math. I think uh, again geometry. Think uh, just basic math. Think advanced math. Anything and everything that you can possibly think of. Think of. Um, of, of measuring things it just goes on okay and it just goes on like that uh, think of basic um, information regarding flora and fauna just goes on regarding nature anything literally purely put simply and simp and purely put liberal sciences that's also correct uh, he warmed waters and discovered bats yeah that I already explained that that simply stands for his um, thingy for the whole aspect of, uh, of his affiliation with water. I'll, dis I'll explain later. He was of the order of Potestates or powers before his fall as he declared. Yeah, that is also correct. He is a fallen angel and he did indeed belong to the order of powers and their Potestates. Um, now, as for his attributes, he is mercurial. I repeat, he's mercurial. He aligns with Gemini. Tremendously strong. Con tremendously strong. Uh, Gemini influence so hence the liberal sciences because liberal sciences is, is aligns with the zodiac sign Gemini and therefore Mercury by nature He also has a considerable amount of Jupiterian uh, affinity to him um, And he also has Martian and lunar properties Which are also considerably strong honestly now all of this is configured in such a way as to all of this is configured in such a manner that um, despite the fact that, again, he's completely calm, cool, and collect when you interact with him, uh, you can sense that there is a an underlying tremendous temper he has. He has a considerable or um, he can be highly volatile in terms of moodiness, not towards you as the operator. He's just... Uh, he's just someone that's wound up or can be wound up regarding personality, but you can tell that it's like... It's uh, it's hidden, honestly. It doesn't surface. And needless to say, he'll also bestow these skills and or traits upon the operator. 
So any magician or any spirit worker that works with him or that wants to work with him. Um, so yeah, think of, again, the guy has a temper, okay? And he'll pass that temper on to you. You'll become temperamental like him, you know? And uh, moodiness, frustration, stuff like that. But it's not as bad as it sounds. It just comes with the territory. Um, now, the affiliation with the moon and thereby the moon ruling water as an element is also the reason why, in relation to the aforementioned, why you, for example, hear like strong rapids or waters with strong currents um, whoosh past you, if in a manner of speaking, when looking at him, or better said, whooshing past him. Despite the fact that there is no waterfall nearby, you're literally hearing the noise of a waterfall. Um, and he also is a little bit clingy, but that's not negatively meant. He just likes to attach himself to people in a, um, in, in a, not coercive, but in an insistent manner. Insistent is the key word here. Because when I gave him the license to depart, when I simply told him, okay, that's enough, you can go. He, um, what he did is that he, something that very few spirits do that I've summoned and related. He asked if he could kiss me, essentially, like, kiss, can I kiss you? No homo. You know, and we simply kissed and hugged it out. And it's been a long time since any spirit that I've summoned, let alone a spirit from the Goetia, has done stuff like that. So hence that, it stands for clinginess, but not in a bad way. Like I said, it's simply emotional insistency. Let's just put it that way. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can tell you about Crochelle. His name, funnily enough, actually reminds me of um, Crochet. <laughs> People that know what crochet is simply know it. If not, then Google crochet. Not that they're related. It's just funnily enough reminds me of his name. Crochet's name reminds me of crocheting. Not that I engage in crocheting, obviously not. Are you kidding me? I'm not a grandma. But just saying. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else? Uh, no. That's essentially it. Bye-bye, uh, guys.